Hey y'all, this is Matt with Five Holders. Question, we're about to have a little fun today. This is called the Redneck Decoy Destruction Challenge. This is part one. How many of y'all have plastic decoys that y'all are willing to drive a truck on? One of our seat up decoys. Let's have some fun. I'm guessing I'll probably snap the keel. Come here, Rock. Which I'm fine with. Keels are replaceable. Ordinary plastic decoy would have busted. That one's cracking. I'm listening. I can't hear any hissing from the plastic. Oh, yeah. It quit. Battery's in. No, it's still rolling. Oh, really? Is that a crack in it right there, or is that a string? That's a string. Now, I'm leaving the blooper in where Brady thought the camera had gone off. It's just the screen went dark. Let's back off. Let's see the damage. All right. As you can see, I broke the. I messed up. Bent the, the keel. screws and the bent, keel. Bent the, yeah, that's right. The keel didn't even break. The screws are bent. I could fix that. Get those screws out. Put new screws in there. You're good to go. As you can see, I dented the head in. New heads easily replaced. And you can see the pattern of the doggone tire on it. However, not one bit of damage as far as what would make it un be able to not work on a decoy anymore or on any type of ducks. Nice if, you really wanted, if you really wanted to, you could put a new head on it. But as we both know, no plastic decoy will stand that type of abuse. Mm -hmm.